Hey folks, Roland Martin here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, today we're going to talk about catching some giant bass. We're going to talk about shiner fishing and catching some double digit monsters. But we're going to talk about shiner fishing. First of all, we got to catch the shiners. Now, shiners are expensive. They're right now, the going price in South Florida at Lake Okeechobee and at Headwaters is $24 a dozen. Now, how many shiners do you need? Well, uh, a very minimal day, you need uh, say four dozen, that's a hundred, almost $100. Uh, a, a more like it, you need uh, eight dozen, that's almost $200 worth of shiners. And and I tell you the truth, I like 10 or 12 dozen. That's like almost $300 worth of shiners. But to do that, I catch my own shiners. I catch them with a cane pole, hey, and I catch them with a cast net. And I'm gonna show you a little bit today about the, the, the method that I use, and it's very inexpensive, on how to catch them with a cane pole, how to set the cane pole up, everything about that, how to chum. And then I'm gonna take this cast net, this is only a little eight footer, I, I throw bigger nets, but but really for the, the price of an eight foot net, it's only like a hundred bucks. So for, for a relatively small investment, you can have a nice little cast net that'll catch you plenty of shiners. So let me take you out on the lake. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to catch your own shiners. Hog food. You need to chum. This is hog food. I'm not gonna chum right here. I'm gonna chum some holes. What this hog food is, hog food is, what this hog food is, it's, 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 it's actually hog food. And that's a hog and that's, and there's a lot of different ways. And see the little granules of, of, of hog food? Well, I throw that in the water and it really attracts the shiners. But the problem is, when you attract the shiners, I have to first chum the hole and then come back two or three hours later. So let's do the first step first. Let's go chum a couple holes and then we'll come back and catch them and I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started, okay? Let's come right over here and take my trolling motor. I'm going to go across over here and uh, I'm going to just try it. There's a whole big bunch of little open holes here. I don't know the best place to fish. You could probably chum right here at the entrance, but I don't know. I'm just going to look around and uh, try to find some place to, to fish. You get, see this hydrilla in the water? You don't, want to, you don't want to be fishing right where there's a bunch of thick hydrilla. So I'm looking in the water with my polarized glasses. I'm using a uh, good uh actually these are flying fishermen polarized glasses and uh and i'm looking for hydrilla and i want to find a spot that's that's not just all choked with hydrilla it's kind of open here but it's not no nah, there's too much hydrilla let's go down a little bit farther and we'll find a spot that maybe it's not all choked with hydrilla and we'll put the chum in now the shiners will probably come in to any place but if there's a lot of grass here and a lot of hydrilla you're not going to be able to catch them very good. So let's find more a more open spot. Okay, I'm looking here. It's, it's too much hydrilla here. Too much hydrilla here. I'm looking in the water with those polarized glasses. I can see the hydrilla. Just too much hydrilla. Let's keep going. Now, this trolling motor has a feature called spot lock. Now, I like this spot right here. I don't see any, any hydrilla right out there. So I'm going to probably hit spot lock right here go a little bit farther forward and what I'll do just for the sake of of this particular spot I'm going to chum I'm going to line up this little thing with that little point over here and I just kind of remember this I could also put I could put a stake in the water I got some white stakes and I could and I might just do that I might just put a stake in the water here and I'll just show you what what it, what it is when the stake is all right it's a lightweight Okay, what, what this is, this is a lightweight PVC pipe. And I'm just gonna come up forward. And I'm gonna stick it down right here, just so I'll know this spot. So I can, and this is, if you ever hit this with a boat, this is real lightweight, won't hurt the boat, won't hurt anything. So I'm just gonna come up right here, and I'm gonna stick the PVC in the water. And I'm gonna stick it down right here. I'm just gonna mark this spot, put it down. It's a sand bottom. It's a good sand bottom. Now, so I'm going to have, as soon as I back 
back off of it. What I have here is a PVC pipe sitting at an angle. It's in the sand bottom. And so right where it, when it straightens out, I'm just going to let it straighten out. And I'm going to put the chum kind of right in line with the with the PVC pipe. So I got the chum right here. Okay, I'm gonna get a big old chunk of chum. Get a big old thing of chum. And see how the PVC pipe is in line? I'm just gonna throw the chum right there. It's right in the water. Big old bunch of chum is falling down. Okay. And we get some more chum and I'll go forward again. Now this is just to attract them. Now when I come back, when I come back the second time, I'll come back and I'll be more quiet. Right now I'm just trying to get them, I'm just trying to get them chummed up. I'm not real concerned about being real quiet because this is gonna, I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna come back about an hour or two later. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna look at that, look at that pole again. See that, see that PVC pole? And I'll throw my chum right out there. Maybe make another one. Make another, make another chunk spot. Okay. okay, it's all right out in front of the, that PVC pole. Okay, let me drift on out of here. And we'll go chum up a couple other spots. And we'll just see what happens. Okay. Well, I'm coming back to my first hole. It's gotten cloudy and windy. But I think it's going to be all right. That these these shines should be here, and my hole is right up by this uh, by this PVC pipe. Okay, it's kind of kind of ease by here. Get my power pole here in a second. Drop my power pole down. do is I can chum a couple ways I can I can use bread you know breads are one way to chum I can use some more of this hog food but uh, I'm gonna also put little pieces of hard bread on my pole now let me show you the pole I'm gonna use I have a 13 foot it's well this happens to be a black widow I don't have any affiliation with them it only costs like 15 16 dollars it's a collapsible pole and on this I have a little bitty float just a little teeny bitty float. This is eight pound test fluorocarbon. I have a little bitty split shot right here. And then I have, this is kind of important to have the right kind of hook. That's a little bitty number 10 hook. That's a little bitty hook, but it, look look at it. The thing about the, the hook, it's, it's a long shank. It's a long shank hook. And that's because the shiners have a little bitty mouth. If they swallow that hook, then I can't get it out. But with that long shank, it's perfect. And I put just a little ball of, 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 of uh, bread on there, and I'll show you how I do that. And then I'll, uh, I'll chum as well. So let me get started. Let me get some bread out. Okay, folks, let me get started here. I got a little, a little bucket, five gallon bucket, a little teeny bit of water in the bottom. And I have some bread, just regular white bread. And what I'll do is I'll take a couple pieces of white bread, and I'll just put it in the water here. And I'll put it in this in this little bit of water in the bucket. And I'll just put it in there and I'll just mash it all up. I just I'm just munching it all up like that. Okay, it's just a it's just a messy, a messy little deal, okay? Okay. That's just a big big deal like that. Now when I take this and throw in the water right there. It just forms a cloud, it just forms a cloud of, of chum. Okay. Take another little piece, go in there. Of a cloud of chum. Okay. Now what I'll do is take a piece of bread. It's kind of a different ball game. Now what I do is uh, make a little ball, a little hard ball. Okay, I take a piece of bread like this. And I pinch off a little piece, and if you just keep it kind of dry, and just, just make a little hard ball uh, right here, out of a little pinch of bread, 
and then I take that little ball and I make a little teeny a little teeny ball with it like that. See how so small it is? A little bitty ball. Okay, take this hook. I don't know how deep they are, but I think that they're deep enough. And I'm going to take this this little ball and I'm going to put it on the hook right here. Okay. Put it on the hook. little bitty ball. Let's see if they bite that. See that little bitty ball? That's all I have. Just a little bitty ball. A little bitty ball of bait. Okay. Swing it out there and see what happens. Okay. There go. Nice shot her. Well, folks, you can see right now. I know there's a big, there's a big uh, storm coming, so I can't do this very long. But that's a perfect size shiner. And that shiner there is worth two dollars, and I caught them with a little little cane pole, and it's just it's just a perfect way to do it. So I've caught a couple dozen shiners, and I'm ready to go fishing. So they can't beat that. Okay, let me put them in, in a live well. Put them in the live well. We'll see what happens. We'll just come, come right here. There's plenty of shiners in there. Water's all clean. I'm circulating the water. We got a nice little deal here. Okay. You know, the cane pole fishing for shiners is really a lot of fun. A lot of times you get two or three people in the boat and we all have these little uh, $15 cane poles and everybody's catching them. And particularly when there's kids and, and women in the boat, this is much fun almost to catch the bait as it is to catch the big bass, at least for the children it is. So that's just one way. Hey, but for next the next part, I wanna show you how to throw a cast net. I'm gonna throw a cast net and I'm gonna to try to catch some big shiners for some bass fishing, for some trophy bass fishing. Now what I've done here, let me just explain my situation. Um, I have a hole right here and I have a PVC pipe in the water and I have some chum and it's legal in the state of Florida to throw a cast net and so I have a legal cast net and so I'm gonna I put the tarp on the boat in the front of the boat and I put this tank in there with water in it because this is a kind of a messy operation the problem with throwing a cast net is when I throw it and that's why I have rain gear on it's all kind of sludgy stuff on the bottom it's just kind of a bad deal so what I'll do is I'll uh I'll put this tarp on the on the boat and hopefully that's going to take care of it okay now let's let's get let's get this thing ready I'm going to get out there and I'm going to get the camera ready and I'm going to just get this thing here ready to go and I'm going to throw out in front of that pole okay if I clear it okay what I'm going to do let me set the net it's kind of a difficult thing I throw it Cuban style and that's over my shoulder. That's why I have this this uh, this thing on. And by having it over my shoulder, it's a little messy. A little bit of a messy deal. One, two, three, four. Okay. Pull the net like this. You get it waist high, right here. Okay. And I take one set of of a uh, thing. I'll put one one two across my shoulder and then i'll get a little bit right here to I'll swing that okay i'm gonna swing the whole net out there and we'll see what happens okay boys let's get back let's see what happens i just cleared the net just cleared the whole deal it's Shiners. Two, three. 
four if it's a big one. Shiners. I got a big special shiner tank here in the back. I'll show you what it is. It's a special shiner tank. And I'll... Okay, I'll open this up and I got these 24. those 24 shiners now I had 52 this time and I had 24 the other so I got 52 shiners so far okay let's see what happens here you know in this little uh, tutorial I, a lot of you might say well Roland gush I can afford uh, a couple hundred dollars worth of shiners I come down on vacation that's not the point the point is, when you go to Clewiston, Florida to get shiners, they're liable to be out. They don't always have shiners. They run out of shiners constantly. When you go over to the headwaters, they only have a limited amount of shiners. So often you go down there and you say, I don't mind spending $100, $200 for shiners, but you can't get the shiners. So, hey, the backup is catch your own. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this YouTube video. Uh, it, it's, it's something I do a lot of, and I'm going to tell you one thing. The last week of October right now, Hey, I caught two bass over 10 pounds just this week. So I'm telling you folks, uh, it's, it's, really, it's really on. It's all shiner fishing, and it's just one-on-one shiner fishing. You can catch them right and left, left and right. It's really, really the deal for catching big fish. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.